since I've been behind the camera. But today, we got this tiny little pond right here. We got a spinner and a little Texas rig. Hopefully we're gonna catch some bass. There's some big bass in here. All right, first cast. This pond's so small that you could pretty much cast across it if you wanted to. And I'm gonna be throwing around the Joe Fly spinner, which has been my new favorite lure lately because you just catch pretty much anything on it. Like you can catch anything from panfish to pike. It's just ridiculous how somebody came up with a lure. It is just so good like that. That frog just scared me. All right, we are going to go move spots. We're gonna walk along this entire bank. There's a bunch of trails and little sandy beaches like that. All right, we're gonna try right here now because it's got this little curve area. So hopefully something's over here. But instead of the Texas rig over here, I'm just gonna throw the little Joe Flies spinner. Just so that way we can get the skunk out of here. Cause it is way too nice right now to not catch anything. Holy crap, right off. There we go. On the Joe flies, we just caught a largemouth right there. He came right up to the shore and ate that. Absolutely destroyed it. I need to get him up. There we go. What a beautiful, healthy fish. He came right, right as the bank, I was reeling it in, right as I was about to just pull the lure out of the water, hit it. He was just sitting right there. Must have been waiting for a frog or something. He's like, that's a very healthy fish. That is a good way to start the day right there. Right on the Joe's flies. There we go. We'll set this to the side. And there it is right there, ladies and gentlemen. First fish of the day. There she goes. Yeah, like I was saying right at the beginning, just five minutes ago, this Joe's flies right here, you can catch anything. All right, to the next spot it is. And the next spot I'm gonna go to is gonna be sandy, like that first spot we were at, but it's way deeper in that area. So that's where I think there'll be more bass chilling. Does anybody else notice who has like the newer GoPros? All of them die way faster than the older ones. Like the Hero 7 that I have, his battery life is way better than this one right here, which is the Hero 8. It's so weird, I don't know why. There we go. We're hooked into something. I don't know what it is. It's, I have my drag set loose because... Oh, stay down. Stay down. I'm tightening my drag. I think it's another bass. Oh, it's a better sized bass compared to the last. Oh, here we go. You can see it. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. And we're bringing it up. There we go. What a healthy fish. This one's a little bit bigger. Yeah, that one is way bigger than the last one we just caught. There we go, on the Joe Flies. This thing is killing it right now. Look at that thing right there though. Second pass of the day. Second fish of the day right there. What a healthy fish. There she goes. 
I think that bass kind of messed messed me up though when he pulled that treble hook. Here we go. Aha. On the jerk bait. It took forever, but we finally caught one. All right, I need to get some pliers because this could be bad. There he goes. All right, so I just caught that picker on the jerk bait right there. I had to get him off of the pliers and shake him into the water, so I couldn't really show you guys him. But finally caught one. Only took me like, I don't know, I've been here for two hours. Finally caught a real fish.